Stolen ETV guys, a big welcome back to MLB 17, the show more specifically, the Toronto Blue Jays franchise mode. Guys, what we're going to do is we're going to get into today's game. This is opening day 2018. Quick look at the lineup so as you know what we're dealing with. We're throwing out these guys and we're facing a right-handed batter, which I believe we are facing Chris Archer. So yes, indeed, we are throwing out uh, that lineup as well as Marcus Stroman taking the mound for another opening day start. So that's what we're expecting in this episode. The organization games, we're gonna play the game and we are going to see what we can do, make strategic moves and we should be able to get into the full game right here, uh, make strategic moves. Nah, let's not do that. Manage the full game, we're gonna go do that and see what we can do in this. This is the first time I've ever done this so this is gonna be interesting. Of course, we're playing at home so we're gonna get those nice bright red unis going or else uh let's see what do we got what do we got we've got the roto ones and you got the road 77s in the batting practice now we're going with the alternate two at home at the rogers place uh quick counts off presentation mode hybrid mlb network retractable roof it's closed it's april let's be serious clear skies doesn't matter and we're gonna get marcus stroman in there and we're gonna get this lineup going let's get the quick manage going we're gonna see what we can do i'm hoping to quick manage up to the seventh inning and then get in and make an impact then so we're going to simulate the half innings and then play the full rest of the game from there so marcus stroman may be out of the game by then we'll remain to see what happens there anthony rendon matt duffy corey dickerson evan longoria brad wilson john jaso chris young and steven souza so very unchanged Tampa Bay Rays team, here we go, opening day time, and guys, it's looking beautiful at the Rogers Center. Here is the theme of everything as, come on, make some noise for the Blue Jays and Rays at the Rogers Center. That's a useless graphic, Rays manager, and John Gibbons in the dugout. So what we're going to do is we are going to see what we can do as fast forward to inning number seven. And that is a fast enough. We'll see what happens here as we go. Home run for Corey Dickerson. So the 90 power guy gets a home run in his first at bat of the game. And we are up. Uh, come on now. We should be able to simulate two. The next one, Devin Travis gets a home run. And we lead 8-5. Okay, 8-5. 13 hits. Not a bad offensive start to the season for us. Chris Young up there. And we need to break this somehow. How do we break this? As we should be able to. Gameplay options. Uh... Let's see, gameplay options. Do we not have a way to break this? I'm not sure if we do. Backstop decision timer. Uh, do we not have a way to jump into the game here? We should. This is interesting, guys. I've never used this. This is a new mode that uh, a couple of guys in the group chat suggested. So I'm hoping to see what we can figure out here. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it is an option. So we will quick manage it. Play ball, let's go, see what uh, Marcus Stroman can do here. He's going to throw in, actually that's Johnny Thayer, so Johnny Thayer throws the ball. Uh, we're going to throw just another pitch here from Johnny Thayer. And guys, I'm going to commentate this game. Johnny Thayer in set with the pitch. He'll fire in a ground ball over to the shortstop. Tulo with it, he'll fire on to first. For out number one to the seventh inning, and the Blue Jays looking hot, up 8-5. That was a ground out and striding to the plate now. Steven Souza Jr., We'll let the boys play ball as Johnny Thayer, uh, is that Johnny Thayer? Seriously, Johnny Thayer has 94 pitches for us? Okay, 95 pitches now, that's ball number one. And uh, wow, Johnny Thayer getting some work done in this game, that's for sure. And he's gonna fire another pitch. This one's gonna be taken into the gap. This one's deep back, Kevin Pillar. Oh, you better believe Kevin Pillar had that one tracked all the way. And we just wanna quickly make sure Johnny Thayer's had 33 balls, 63 strikes. Nobody has gotten a hit off of Johnny Thayer yet this game. So keep that in mind. Johnny Thayer's been hot. He's thrown in another ball right there. So he's thrown a lot of balls. 34 balls, 63 strikes. We're going to have to get him out after this inning. He's really done his job tonight. Johnny Thayer in with the 1-0. He'll fire another strike in there. So there you go. Johnny Thayer evens the count. 1-1 apiece. Two outs in the top half of the seventh inning. Thayer set, throws in the curveball, can't get them going on the curveball, and we gotta just let them keep playing ball. Johnny Thayer working a 2-1 count, two outs in the top half of the seventh inning, Jays lead 8-5, pitch comes in, pitches the ball, that should have been a strike by the looks of it, maybe missed outside, Russell Martin tried to frame it up best we could do, 
pitch again from Thayer. He'll fire this one in. This one's going to go foul. What a ball off the bat. That thing was ripping. And what a strike. That loads the count. 3-2. And in comes the pitch. Ground ball to Tulo. Tulo comes up with it. He'll play it across to first. And that will be an out as Steve Pierce steps on the bag. Blue Jays lead 8-2-5. 13-8 the hits. As Pilar, Jay, and Travis are due up in the bottom half of the seventh inning. We'll see ahead. Kevin Pilar. Well, that's that's that. Uh, what are we going to do? we got to get... Uh, Got to get the pitch in here. And that will be taken outside for ball number one. Kevin Blar patient, not swinging at the first bat. Rasmo Ramirez up there. We need to get somebody up in the bullpen, maybe. Uh, we've got a three-run three, three run lead, so I would take in Hector Rondon in the top half of the eighth. And bullpen as well. Get Roberto Osuna up to get going. So let's play ball, boys. Rasmo Ramirez against... Kevin Pilar, here comes the pitch inside for ball number two. There was a nice shot of the Rogers center. Pitch comes in from Erasmo Ramirez. And it will be fouled off by Kevin Pilar. So Kevin Pilar doing well. He's fouling off, staying hot. And let's see, take bunt, steal all, take pitch, uh, pinch hit, and pinch run. Manager action. So we need to see if Kevin Pilar can bunt this one aboard. Unfortunately, we timed out right there. And Kevin Pilar will ground this one down the third base line. Beautiful hit by Kevin Pilar. He's going for two, and he is going to be in there. Tagged out. Last second, Kevin Pilar tried to stretch it into two. That is out one. And this is Mr. John Jay, who looks to have two home runs. He's three for three today. Batting 1,000 against right-handed pitching and 1,000 on the season. That's strike number one against John Jay from Erasmo Ramirez. John Jay doing not too bad. We're going to see if John Jay can bunt this one if he gets a ball right here. And he's going to go chasing after that. So we'll just let John Jay play ball right there. He's got to do it. He's got to come up with a base hit somehow. And that's not what he's going to do. He's going to line out to the shortstop Duffy. And that brings up Devin Travis, who is also out of home run today. He's two for four with a double in an RBI. And come on, Devin Travis. Let's go inside. He's going to get hit. So interesting go by Erasmo Ramirez there. That brings up Gerard Dyson. Maybe a move to get the guy who's 0 for 3 and hasn't stung the, ba the Tampa Bay Rays for two hits and two extra base hits. That's a first pitch strike from Dyson, who's 0 for in his Blue Jays debut at the Rogers Center and Blue Jays season debut ever. So Gerard Dyson got Devin Travis aboard and that will be chased at 0 to the count now to Dyson. And I believe this is steal. So Devin Travis is going steal. Let me get him to take a lead here. And Devin Travis is off with the pitch. This is pitched into left field. Beautiful hit by Gerard Dyson to pick up his first hit as a Blue Jay. And Gerard Dyson gets aboard with a single moving Kevin Pilar. So that now becomes the play to steal all runners here. And hopefully Kevin Pilar is off on the pitch as well. This one will be down low and oh man, here we go, 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 safe. Oh, what an intense play. Devin Travis pulls off the double steal. That means Josh Donaldson has two runners in the scoring position that intentionally walks him now. So that will bring up Tulo, I believe, and Tulo has a good chance with the bases loaded and two out here in the top half or bottom half of the seventh inning. Looks like we'll only play the bottom half of the seventh inning here. And as guys, we're running a little bit high on time and I've only got so much time tonight. That is low for ball number one. Tulo taking the pitch. Very disciplined. Erasmo Ramirez running up the pitch count quickly. Steve Pierce has had two hits tonight. Kendrys Morales 0-4, so we're hoping for a big hit and we are not going to get it as that is quickly tagged on out and we are out of the game so we'll see how the top half of the eighth goes that is Johnny Thayer in there so we're going to bring out uh, bullpen Hector Rondon into the game put into the game Hector Rondon who's one and oh last year and we're going to play the ball see what he can do Hector Rondon on the mound number 56 for the Toronto Blue Jays slider outside and you see here he's had just the one pitch so far. So we don't expect too much out of Hector Rondon here. And he's going to fire in a first pitch strike. So Hector Rondon getting the job done. We're up 8-5. to five. 
in the tall pile for the eighth inning. Nobody out. And a 1 1 count to the Tampa Bay Rays. Who is that? Who is that? That looks to be Anthony Rendon. Okay, so I was missing something. Anthony Rendon's player model looks absolutely terrifying. Pardon me, that's the game. That's the way they go sometimes. And uh, here's the pitch in from Hector Rondon. Swung on and fouled by Rondon. So, okay, 33. 333 batting average against right-handed pitching today. And he's going to swing on and miss. And Hector Rondon gets the first out of the eighth inning. So a very solid inning from Hector Rondon. He's facing his first lefty of the season. So he's got to try and bring this lefty down a peg. And he's going to get the first pitch swing. Corey Dickerson, who's one for three with the solo homer in the top half of the first inning, Looking for more damage here. He's going to get it as he goes base hit up the middle. And we will pretty much sim the rest of the way here as we've hit the 11-minute mark. So, guys, i got to exit this episode. Unfortunately, can't let it go much longer because i got work tomorrow and i got to get uh, stuff done. So, presentation, gameplay, fast forward to end of game. Let's see what goes on. Evan Longoria flies out and that will be a base hit for Wilson Ramos. Strikeout. John Jaso, Steve Pierce grounds out, ground out Kendrys Morales, Russell Martin will get a base hit. It's a triple for Russell Martin somehow to left field, and then Kevin Pilar grounds out, so not a productive inning. Roberto Osuna comes in, Chris Young flies out, he gets a walk, Steven Souza grounds out, and a single play to second base gets us the victory. Marcus Stroman looking nothing like himself there, celebrates the win, and that is a big time victory for Marcus Stroman. I don't know how uh, Johnny Thayer threw all those pitches. I think it was kind of glitched because Johnny Thayer only threw one inning. So did Hector Rondon. We got two holds right there. And a 7.50 ERA out of Marcus Stroman who somehow wins the game. Hey, not me. Don't go figure that one. And really only two, five strikeouts all game. Home runs to Martin, Pierce, John Jay had two, and Devin Travis had one. Doubles to Travis, Tulowitzki, and Pilar. We had... 16 hits this game, 8 runs, 8 RBIs, and 3 walks, and only 3 strikeouts, so we were even better. The only guy to go 0 for was Kendrys Morales. Guys, thank you for tuning in to this different episode of the Toronto Blue Jays Franchise Mode on Dolan ETV. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If not, leave a like, and I will catch you guys in the next one.